this is what Jehovah's Witnesses believe in that Jesus Christ is the Archangel Michael again another cultic teaching and another false false teaching the Lord Jesus warned us pre warned us there will come people in my name they are false prophets they will teach you wrong things you need to be extremely cautious that in a nutshell <laughs> it is impossible I just wonder I just wonder how can people not realize that Jesus Christ stand uniquely alone beyond and above everyone including the Archangel Michael there is no comparison between Jesus Christ all glory to his holy name and between an angel the creation of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let me just quote you a couple of uh, places let's see at the Archangel Michael when we read the epistle of Saint Jude the epistle of Saint Jude is play, it's one chapter placed before the book of Revelation. It's only one chapter. Jude 1 9, look what he says. Yet Michael the archangel, in um, con um, contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not bring against him a reviling accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke you. Now, by the way, the archangel Michael is very powerful, right? He can wipe this world if the Lord gives him the green light. Much more powerful than all the nuclear weapons put together. We have no idea, our angels, how powerful they are. You have no idea. So the arch, this is the archangel. He's very, very powerful. He's a warrior. This archangel dared not to say anything against the devil what did he say in the name of the lord i rebuke you devil he didn't say i rebuke you devil he did not dare to say it why because he realized that i have no authority to rebuke satan only god can and when I call upon the name of the Lord, then I have that jurisdiction to rebuke Satan. In other words, without the Lord, who is Jesus Christ, no angels, no humans can go against the enemy without the Lord. If the archangel Michael, the most powerful angel, could not say to Satan, I rebuke you, do you think we can, piece of dust? If we walk away from the Lord Jesus, Satan will eat us alive before we blink our eyes. No matter how smart, how powerful, how knowledgeable, how strong you are, Satan is way beyond more powerful than you and I. So the archangel said, in the name of the Lord, I rebuke you. Look at the Lord Jesus. If Jesus Christ is the Archangel Michael, well, I just wonder how. Look at the Lord in Matthew 4.10. Then Jesus said to him, meaning Satan, then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan. Be gone. Luke 9.1. Jesus gave his 12 apostles power and authority over all demons. Jesus did not stand before Satan and said, in the name of my father, I rebuke you. He said, no, in my name, I rebuke you because I am the Lord, I'm God. But Archangel Michael is a creation. I am the creator. The creation can't rebuke Satan unless he receives power from me, authority from me, jurisdiction from me. But when it came to Jesus, he said, Satan, be gone. And then I, Jesus, gave my disciples power to say to Satan and the foul spirits also be gone in Jesus' mighty name. Everything happens in the name of the Lord Jesus. Without the Lord, nothing happens because the Lord is God. The Lord is God. So it is impossible for the archangel Michael to be Jesus Christ, my beloved. It's impossible. 